belongs to the solar system. It is the third planet away from the sun. Our home planet is a rocky terrestrial planet. It has a solid and active surface with mountains, valleys, canyons, plains, and so much more. It is special because it is an ocean planet that covers 71% of Earth's surface. Here are the unique features of Earth that are important for life. Presence of water, atmospheric oxygen, appropriate distance from the sun, plate tectonics, climate stability, moderate global temperature, minerals, and energy resources. We're going to discuss each of the unique features of Earth that are important for life. First, the presence of water. Water covers about 71% of Earth's surface. About 71% of the Earth's surface is covered with water, and it is ev found everywhere above the Earth, in the air and clouds, and on the Earth's surface, in rivers, oceans, ice plants, and in living organisms. This is the distribution of Earth's water, mainly from oceans, glaciers, and eye caps, ice and snow. And we have also from fresh water, surface water, atmospheric water, biological water, rivers, swamps, and marshes, and soil moisture. Next is atmospheric oxygen. Atmospheric oxygen refers to the abundance of molecular oxygen in the atmosphere, that, especially in the troposphere, that allows life to flourish. That is the most important need of humans, even more important than food. It is 21% of, uh, of the atmosphere is composed of oxygen. The rest, you have 78% nitrogen and 1% other gases. Earth's atmosphere composed of about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other gases. The Earth's atmosphere plays a vital role in regulating the temperature by providing a blanket of gases that not only protect us from excessive heat and harmful radiation from the sun, but also traps heat rising from the Earth's interior, keeping us warm. In highly urbanized cities like Manila, it produces higher carbon dioxide due to smoke from factories and automobiles together with overpopulation, which caused oxygen level to be lower than 21%. Next is plate tectonics. Plate tectonics is a theory that Earth's outer shell is divided into several plates that glide over the mantle, the rocky inner layer above the core, the plates act like a hard and rigid shell compared to Earth's mantle that makes the formation of island. Earth has nickel iron core, which produces its magnetic field. Materials on Earth, including its water, atmospheric gases are contained inside because of magnetic field. Materials also from the Earth or inside the Earth is circulated to its surface through volcanic activity. Geosphere movement like earthquake or broad hot spots that, and plate boundaries. Next is climate stability. The Earth could sustain life because of its climate stability. Climate on Earth is almost mostly stable and predictable throughout the year. Other countries of the world has four seasons to enjoy. Spring, summer, autumn, winter. Other tropical countries like ours have wet and dry season. This orotational pattern of weather and climate make life on Earth possible. 
climate on Earth is mostly stable and predictable throughout the year. This rotational pattern of weather and climate make life on Earth possible. But what happened here? We're going to look at the picture. Because of global warming, okay, glaciers, snow cover tend to melt. That these are the indicators that the Earth is experiencing global warming. Meaning at this time it's not it is not really stable. Appropriate the next is appropriate distance from the sun. The Earth is 149.5 million kilometers away from the sun. Earth's right distance make life on Earth possible, being the third planet in the solar system, makes temperature here just appropriate for living organism. With the right distance from the sun, the sun warms or seas, steers our atmosphere, generate weather patterns, and gives energy to the growing plants that provide, provide food and oxygen for life on Earth. Next is moderate global temperature. The average temperature on Earth is 61 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius. Next, minerals and energy resources. Energy and mineral resources are vital to modern society. It's the role of geologists to locate these resources for human benefit. These uh, energy resources are generally grouped as renewable resources. These are resources which are naturally replenished, such as sunlight, wind, rain, tides, waves, and geothermal heat. Another is non-renewable energy resources, fossil, like fossil fuels, resources that will run out and will not replenish like coal and petroleum. Another is mineral resources. These are grouped into two categories, metallic and non-metallic. Metallic uh, mineral resources, examples are gold, silver, tin, copper, lead, zinc, iron, and nickel, while non-metallic, such as sand, gravel, uranium, and dimension or stone. Indeed, Earth is a special planet. It has a unique characteristics that enable to sustain and support life and make it habitable for different life forms. All of these characteristics, such as the right distance from the sun, is protected from harmful solar radiation by its magnetic field, is kept warm by an insulating atmosphere and is the right chemical ingredients for life, including water and carbon, is natural to Earth. The processes that shape the Earth and its environment constantly cycle elements through the planet. This cycling sustains life and leads to the formation of the mineral and energy resources that are the foundation of modern technological society today. With the the knowledge you have learned, how would you maintain the different factors that makes the earth habitable? You can write that in a sheet of paper and you can submit that. Or you may create campaign ad, digital or using the available materials on how to sustain earth as a habitable planet, upload it on social media or post it on areas within your community so you just educate others and convince them to do the same. And for your reflection, you may discuss with your brother, sister, parents, or somebody at home with you the things that you have done to make Earth a more habitable planet. Educate them on how to protect the Earth in simple ways. You may write down or write it through a narrative or an interview type. You're going to transcribe that or you're going to have a video of that and you can send it to me through my FB account. For your enrichment activities, it will be, I will be giving you extra points for this. Research on the characteristics of other planets in the solar system. Could it be possible that life may also exist there someday? And for 
your assessment of learning. So have you there given the situation? You read that. Okay, you have exhibit A, B, and C. You have question one. Start to check your modules. Question two and question three. Okay, good luck. I hope you learned something today. Go back to your modules, try to check and answer them.